Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to run macOS Sonoma on VirtualBox. For those unfamiliar with VirtualBox, it's a tool that enables you to operate multiple operating systems on your host computer. Consequently, I can run Windows, Manjaro Linux, and various other operating systems concurrently within VirtualBox. To begin, the first step is to download and install VirtualBox. Please open your Chrome browser. Next, search for VirtualBox. You should find Oracle VM VirtualBox listed. Click on it and it should redirect you to virtualbox.org. Then, click on Downloads on the left, where you'll find VirtualBox for Windows Host. Click on it to commence the download. After acquiring VirtualBox, you'll also need to download the extension pack. You can find it labeled as VirtualBox 7.0.8 Oracle VM Extension Pack. Download the extension pack as well. After obtaining VirtualBox, the installation process is similar to any other software. If you encounter any difficulties during installation, please refer to the video description. I've previously created a video tutorial on installing VirtualBox. Now, alongside downloading VirtualBox, you'll also need to obtain the macOS Sonoma ISO file. The link to the ISO file is provided in the video description for direct download. Let's close our browser. Upon checking our download folder, you should find both VirtualBox and the extension pack. After installing VirtualBox, proceed to double click on the extension pack to initiate the installation. Since I already have it installed, I'll opt for a reinstallation. Scroll down, agree to the terms, and proceed with installing the VirtualBox extension pack. To verify its successful installation, navigate to the extensions tab. You should see the extension pack listed there. Now let's return to our welcome page. In our download folder, locate the macOS 14 Sonoma ISO file. As mentioned earlier, the link to this file is available in the video description for your convenience. Next, let's create a new virtual machine on VirtualBox. Click on New. Name the machine macOS 14. Ensure the type is set to Mac OS X and the version is Mac OS X 64-bit. Allocate around 4 GB of RAM, considering my PC has 16 GB in total. It's recommended not to allocate more than 40% of your memory to the virtual machine to avoid slowing down your host computer. Same thing with the processor, I'm going to give it 3 cores since I can run up to it. Make sure EFI is enabled and then next. Now this is the hard disk section so we have to allocate enough storage to install macOS. Now I think the minimum size is about 55 gigs, so I'm going to give this about 61 gigabytes and that should be okay to run Mac OS Sonoma. But you should allocate more storage so you won't have issues when you're trying to download a file or work with your Mac OS. So let's next and then finish. Now you have to make a few changes so click on settings. And then right here on the name section, copy the name of your machine we will make use of this later. Now go to system, you can see this is the base memory which is the RAM you can increase whenever you want. Processor so you can increase as well. Go to display and increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. Enable 3D acceleration. Go to USB and make sure you switch to USB 3.0. Go to storage, click on the empty disk icon and by the right, click on this disk icon, click on choose the disk file. Now locate your download folder and select Mac OS Sonoma, which you downloaded. Open and then click on OK. Now we are almost ready to start the installation. One more thing before we do that, we have to configure this Machini like a Mac. Our Machini wouldn't be compatible to run Mac OS on VirtualBox, so we have to run a few tweaks. Now this command is also provided in the video description, so let's open the commands, and here we go. We are going to use these few commands to configure our Mac OS Sonoma, so we can run it from this machine without having any issue. Now replace VM name with our machine name, which we copied earlier, so just hold Carl H on notepad and then replace VM name with our machine name, which is Mac OS 14. Replace all and it should replace VM name with our machine name. Now you can close our download folder for now. Now open command prompt on your system, just search for CMD and open command prompt. We're going to run each and every line of this command one by one. First command paste hit enter and then the second command paste hit enter. Now while you're running this command, 
you shouldn't get any error. If you got any error, then maybe you used the wrong machine name, so make sure to check that you shouldn't get an error while running this. So successfully entered all the commands. Now you can close command prompts. You can also close our notepad. And then we can start the installation by clicking on start. Now let's set a language for the installation in English. Continue. The next thing we have to do is erase the disks. We are located before we can install Mac OS to go to this utility hit continue. Now you can see VBox hard disk media. And you can see the size over here 66.05 gig. This will be relative to the size you set when you are creating a storage disk. So now click on erase and then let's call this Mac OS 14. Set the formats to APFS or you can set it to Mac OS Extended June Out. Both of them works, but let's go with APFS Erase and then click on Done. Now we can close this page and then go back to install Mac OS 14 Beta. Continue Hit. Continue again. Now agree to the license. And then select the disks which we erased earlier. Continue and it should start installing. Now this will take time about an hour or less depending on your hardware. It will restart several you are installing, but you just have to wait patiently now. Also if your hardware is not compatible, you may encounter issues while it's installing it may reboot into panic mode, and then it will restart the entire installation from scratch. If that happens, check the video description. I made a video covering that, and how to fix it. I provided fix to most common issues in the video description. So if you encounter any issue, make sure to check the video description and check out the issue you're having. And then you can fix the installation and run Mac OS 14 without any issue. Now all you need to do is wait patiently and it should install successfully. Then you can set up with your details and you're good to go. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.